Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this infinite looping animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool techniques. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation as always. Width I'll take 1920. Height should be 1080. Frame rate is 30. Duration is 1.30 seconds. And for the background color, I'll choose solid black and hit OK. I think we need to increase the duration up to let's say 2.30 seconds and hit OK. Now go to the choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action. Now what I'll do, I'll create another composition, hit Ctrl N for that to create a new composition. I'll call it as circle and height, let's take 1080, but the width I'll take up to 300 and hit OK. Now this is our circle composition. After that what I'll do, I'll go over here, I'll choose my ellipse tool. I don't want any fill for it, so I'll delete this fill, hit OK. The only thing I choose is stroke, hit OK. Now by holding shift, I'll create one circle over here. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Now go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. After that, we need to animate this circle. So for that, what I'll do, I'll press S for scaling option. And initially, I'll make it 0 and create one keyframe. Zoom in a little bit up to 1.5 second. Let's say I'll increase it up to 110, something like this. Yeah, now go to the search option and type stroke over here, ST. So you will get the stroke width option over here. Initially, I'll make it 200 and I'll create one keyframe and hit U to so we can see all those keyframes and at this point I want the stroke width should be 0 if I hit play we are getting something like this now select those keyframes hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes go to the graph editor select this handle of this graph editor and by holding shift I'll simply drag it over here so if I hit play we are getting something like this now after that we need to convert this layer into 3D so for that we will switch on this option if you are not getting this option over here simply press F4 so it will switch between the matte options and more options and all these options. So I will convert this into 3D now press R for rotation property and on let's say X axis I rotate this up to minus 90 so we will get this kind of 3D option over here. Now choose this option, selection tool and I'll drag it over here for now. Now after that hit U. Now what I'll do, I'll choose my pen tool and from here to here let's say, we'll choose fit stroke width I'll choose something around 10% and now press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center I'll also convert this thing into 3d and choose our selection tool and I'll drag this not this anchor point but this stroke width over here something like this hit P for position property you can adjust it over here now after that what I'll do I'll go to the animation properties go to the content add I'll add trim path go to the trim path initially make it zero and create one keyframe on the end and one keyframe on the start zoom in go to 1.5 seconds let's make this start 100 and this end also 100 now select the start keyframes and simply drag it up to here 
now select those keyframes hit f9 so we will get this kind of animations by holding alt i will drag it up to 2 seconds now after that at 2 seconds make sure that you are on proper 2 seconds so drag it over here now i will create one keyframe over here and one in a keyframe over here so we are getting this kind of keyframes similarly select this shape layer hit u and at 2 seconds we need to create keyframe over here also as we can see we are getting this kind of animation now select those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph editor by holding shift i'll drag this handle over here and this handle over here so if i hit play now we will get this kind of animation if you want then you can decrease the stroke rate up to five percent we are getting something like this now select this 3d layer which is our stroke layer and i'll make it parent with this shape one now select this shape one and choose this y handle sorry z handle and drag it this thing in the middle we are getting something like this now hit u i'll click on the stopwatch and apply our favorite expression loop out select this loop out hit ctrl c to copy i'll click on the another one and hit ctrl v or you can simply type this ctrl c here i'll paste that same expression so now we will get the looping animation for them now our circle comp is ready so uh, now uh, what can i do i'll go to the main animation i'll simply drag my circle composition over here as we can see we are getting this animation over here but we are not getting the thing properly so for that what i'll do i'll check out this option and i'll also make it into 3d now hit r for rotation if i rotate it on x axis as you can see we are getting something like this but we will not rotate it right now first thing we will do we will drop some scale up to let's say 50 or let's say 70 percent now instead of active camera i'll go to the top and i'll drag it over here something like this now i'll choose my pen behind tool and by holding shift i'll drag this anchor point over here so as you can this is our main composition and our anchor point is over here now press r for rotation if i rotate it as we can see we, we are rotating it on y-axis and we are on the top if i choose to active camera mode we will still get something like this now we will go to the top more top view press r for rotation now what i'll do i'll hit ctrl d on keyboard press r for rotation i'll rotate it up to 30 degree or let's say 60 hit ctrl d again press r for rotation make it 120 hit ctrl d press r for rotation 180 hit ctrl d r for rotation make it 240 hit ctrl d r for rotation let's make it 300 as you can see we have this kind of circle over here yeah now what i'll do i'll go to the active camera again as you can see we are getting this kind of animations now if you want to see what how does it look so simply create one camera over here and with the help of this camera unfired camera tool if i rotate it from here as we can see we are getting this kind of stuff but we don't require camera right now so i'll delete it after that select all of them press ctrl shift c i'll call it as circle 
collection and hit ok check this out option and also make it into 3d now after that again i'll go to the top view now after that select this camera uh, not camera but circle collection hit ctrl d press s for scaling option and scale it up to here press r for rotation and i'll rotate it something like this again hit ctrl d r for rotation rotate it something or simply make it zero press s for scaling option and scale it up to here yep this looks good to me now go to the active camera i'll create one camera over here just like this also i'll create one null object and hit enter on that null object and i'll call it as cam controller and i'll select this camera and i'll make it apparent with this cam control now press also convert that cam control into 3d select this cam control press r for rotation i'll rotate it on x-axis something like this and on z-axis i'll move it like this make this quarter so it will not lag yeah now if i go to the inside the circle as we can see we have last keyframes on two seconds so two or four or six or eight is our looping point so what i'll do i'll go to the circle collection i'll simply adjust these things right like this or instead of that what we will do we'll go this much frames select all of them alt close bracket right click keyframe assistant sequence layers hit ok after that i'll drag this compositions up to here and this is our last composition so i'll simply drag this over here if i go to my main animation we will get this randomize animation over here yep now after that 2 is our looping point if i hit n over here as we can see we will get the looping position why we are getting a loop on the 2 because if we go to our circle and if i hit u as we can see our end keyframes is at the 2 seconds so that's why we are getting looping animation at 2 not only 2 but if i go to 4 seconds let's say then also i'll get this looping animation even if at we go at 6 i'll get this for now i'll go to the 8 and for what because we will rotate this camera also so i'll create one keyframe let's say on not over here but if we go to our circle we will go to the top view for now and i'll create one null object i'll also convert it into 3d select this circle i'll make it apparent with this null one i'll say uh, press r for rotation as we can see we need to rotate it on y axis so i'll create one keyframe over here go to the main animation as we can see we we need to rope, make it complete one rotation on eight seconds so go over here and on eight seconds i'll make it one complete rotation also after that you need to uh, alt click on this and create a loop out expression on it go to the main animation as we can see we will get this kind of rotating animation over here just like this now after that press ctrl y to create a solid bg i'll call it as pg and i'll choose black color for that and i'll drag this over here apply 
go to the effect and preset, presets panel and apply four color gradient on it you are free to choose any color i will choose something which is related to the blue and purple you can choose any color palette from google or from anything i think this one looks good for now create one adjustment layer apply glow effect on it increase the glow threshold up to 90 percent and glow intensity up to 0.5 just like this in full resolution we will get this kind of output if you want then you can add some blurriness or depth of field simply you need to do select this camera hit double a so we will get all these camera options i enable the depth of field increase the aperture up to 200 as we can see we are getting some blurriness over here because this camera is focusing in the center you can simply increase it up to 400 so it will create some blurriness over here now we will have this looping animation over here as we can see we have this three main circles if you want you can simply add another one by simply hitting Control D over here. I'll select this last one. I'll go to the top view for now. Press S for scaling option and I'll scale it down a little bit. Press R for rotation. I'll rotate it something over here. And I'll go to my active camera. As you can see, we'll get this. It will uh, lag a little bit because now we have added this depth of field effect on it. So that's why. If you want to increase the blurriness of depth of field, simply hit double A again and increase the blurriness up to 200. Just like this. But I don't think that necessary. I'll make it up to 150. So, yep, this is our final looping output. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.